And I need people to say, when I don't want to get up at 3 in the morning, I need a in my life that sees me go to bed at 12 and wakes me up at 3. Saying, you need to get this shit done. That's the foxhole. Yeah, like, I don't necessarily agree with what these fellas do in the ring per se, but when it comes to work ethic, these guys are here every single day and that's been since day one. Um, that's why the foxhole was created, so we can hold each other accountable. Soul of PWA Championship. I literally made my Black Label debut 10 months ago and now I'm on the biggest show of the year and you know, there's a lot of nerves coming up into it, but I think I just need to remind myself that I've gone out and I've taken this opportunity. You know, there are so many people that came before me that could be in this spot, but I actually believed in myself and I backed myself. You might hear people online or people elsewhere suck about, you know, getting an opportunity like this so quickly, but I think I've cracked the code that people haven't, and that's work hard, play hard. You know, obviously, you see me, I like to have a lot of fun. I'm on the beers, it shows, but for every single bender that I have, I'm out here training twice as hard. Um, I might come in dusty and a little bit hungover sometimes, but that's how I get it done. And I, I didn't do it on my own accord. I'm not gonna sit here and say that, you know, I'm the best server. I look at Ricky South, I look at Jimmy Townsend. That's why the foxhole was created and the reason that I'm sitting on this toilet today. <laughs> <laughs> look, the tuck man is the soul of this place. You know, he's come in and, and taken us by storm and, and put in the work and he's taken over, but title matches are a different ball game. You know, in the first year of my career with the Prefects was insanely successful. We won an undefeated run. But when we finally got that title shot, the pressure got to us and you haven't had that shot yet. So I think it's failure first before the success. Yeah. Look, title shots are very much different. Um, but I'm going to look at it a little bit differently. You're up against uh, Unsocial Jordan, who uh, I will say, unfortunately, my yeah, my man, uh, one of the smartest people there, yeah. put me out for six months. Uh, very tactical. Um, so just don't be an idiot or a goof or, and taken lightly because him and SMS are pretty damn crafty, I think, and be the right dude. Have you looked at me? I'm fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a 10 year old when you wrestle for the belt and I'm social, but I'm just, I'm gonna bash that. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the attitude. Yeah, okay, that's... fair call. Cool. Uh, you know, I don't want to be too corny, but it is nice that, you know, the entire time that Tucky has been wrestling that two and a half something years that not only I have been champion that entire time, but he's been able to be, you know, the little protege of Jimmy and us, you know, been able to show him everything, everything that we know past the belt. So Tucky's almost like a, a little us. Yeah. He's a little baby boy. All of the great mentoring I've gotten to have over the years, I've been able to siphon that information and pass on to him, and it's good to see him running with it. Yeah, from like, from Walla to me to him, and, you know, you're welcome. Yeah, have it. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Uh, look, I'm going to lie. Jimmy and Ricky are like my two older brothers. Um, they've pretty much taken so much extra time I didn't need to and, and, and we're still gonna can't get ahead of yourself yeah, yeah right right boys well <laughs> you know I've taken a lot of sports already um, you two better watch out yourselves eh as I'll uh... <laughs> you're not allowed to touch it no one thinks I'm gonna beat on social Jordan I think that you know if you're in a tipping comp everybody's ticking USJ on that side especially with SMS on his side I don't have anyone but when you look at what I've done this year it's not because, you know, I'm some freak athlete or I'm the best year of training or anything like that. It's because I actually represent what PWA is. Beers, music, and wrestling. I am the soul of PWA. And I'm gonna shock the whole world when I go out and become the motherfucking soul of PWA champion in front of a sold out Coliseum and everybody watching around the whole world. Okay, bro. Boy. Taught me lots of Lucha League, My bro. Boy, my, <laughs> my boy, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, man. Let's go. Oh, the talk man! I ain't taking prisoners.